i hope you guys are doing well so today we, we are going to learn uh, simulations okay so how we can simulate the data so the, let's first understand that why do we need to simulate the data and in what kind of a scenario we do okay so so what happens okay that most of the data in pega so because pega is not a source system so what happens we connect to some other system to get the data okay through either rest api or through an uh, rest soap or any other api okay let's say uh, if i'm creating a leave request applications then i want to get that employee details from some other system okay if i'm creating if i'm going to apply the loan details or transfer the money then maybe i, I want to get that account information from some other system okay but what happens that when we are starting a project okay sometimes that system okay is not ready i mean they have created their structure request structure and response structure but still that system is not live okay so in that kind of a situations we can create the rule in pega i mean we can consume that uh, and create the rest connectors database and everything okay request and response but we cannot connect to their live system okay so this is one example is that the service is not fully ready okay the second scenario is that sometimes some maintenance job is running on okay on the source system so in that kind of a scenario also we need we can't sit idle or let's say the development team can't sit idle or qa team can't sit idle so in that kind of situations what we do we simulate the data okay so that we can keep um, uh, we can keep doing our work okay so in that kind of scenario also we need that simulations data okay so if you see here just now what i have done so i what i'll do now i'll show you okay that how we can simulate the data and there is a two ways i'll explain both the ways okay how we can simulate so let's say this is a database d underscore get employee which is connecting to external system okay get employee uh, is a, a rest connector here we have a rest connector okay and getting the data okay so if i run this connector what will happen let's see that so if i'll just pass something one two three four okay then i'll be getting error so you can see that because what happens is directly connecting to end system okay so because what happens that system is not ready that system is not live okay i mean that service is not developed yet or uh, the service is like is down because of some maintenance issue okay so in this kind of a window so let's say this the, my service will be down for five hours okay so then then entire dev team has to sit okay idle so in that kind of situations or the qa team sit, has to sit idle so in that kind of situation we can simulate this okay so there is a two way to simulate okay so the first one is let's see if you're calling this data page okay this connector external system through the data page and then here only you can see that we have an option to simulate so we can just select simulate data source okay and i have already created a data transform employee simulations data so what or we can create again okay so we can say simulate uh, simulate get employee so we can give a name and here what we can do so we'll create so it automatically if we create from here automatically it will create to the data class of the data page okay so now we are one second i need to switch this from the chairs one second leave the question Give me a second. Okay, so let me select simulate data source, and then here I can select uh, simulate get employee. So we should give, give some similar name. So now we'll create that. So what I'll do? So let's see how many data. You want to simulate okay so here the parameter is to run this get employee employee id so i just want to for testing at least i want to configure two okay so what we can do we can simply we'll say when param dot employee id equals to one two three four then we can set the first name and last name first name and then we can set that last name so let's say we can say john doe and here we can set do
and also we can set that employee id as well because when uh, yes i mean we are passing that employee id but we get that in response also so employee id we can set one two three four so we'll configure another response paste below and this time we'll say six seven eight nine and here also we can set six seven eight nine and then here we can say and open. okay so my simulations data is ready okay now simply save this one come to this data page okay and just do save this okay so now if i'll run and pass this okay so let's see so before that we saw that we are getting error okay now if i'll run let's see so here you can see that we are getting a response okay with one two three four we are getting john let's see why we are getting not last name Okay, so your last name is blank. So that's where we were not getting. We will see John Doe. Okay. So you can see that we are getting John Doe. If I pass 6, 7, 8, 9, we are getting Peter Doe. So this is correct, right? So this is one way, okay, we can simulate the data. So you can see how it is easy and what happens, we can just disable it. Like, let's say that uh, we are in a QA, so we can save this rule in branch and we can just enable simulation, okay, by ch checking or unchecking this one, okay. So, simply let's say that uh, if you know that my, uh, the service will be down for five hours, then we can save as this to uh, in QA or in a dev in a branch rule set and just disable uh, enable simulate data source, okay. So, then automatically it will take, we have to just develop once, okay. So, this is one way, okay using the data page but there is a problem in this one okay so the problem is that each time what you need to do you, you need to select this one simulate data source and to make any changes to data page okay either you need to save as or you need to save as this one in productions rule set or your rule set should be open okay so to avoid this one there is another way also okay that we can simulate so basically here we are simulating through the data page now we can simulate through the connectors also okay so let's just see that another way how we can do that so we'll uncheck this one so we'll not do here we'll not do any changes here so let's say we're deploying as it is to qa now how we can do that without making a rule changes okay so for that what we can do we can go to connector rule if we come to connector rule you can see in the bottom okay in the service tab in the bottom we have an options for simulations okay so you can see that simulation activity options is there so we can create the simulations activity also and move it to qa and just what we need to do okay we need to just open this one simulations click on simulations and then submit it once so the, the moment we'll submit it with the simulations activity it will start picking from the simulations so let's write that simulations activity so we can again say the same thing simulate get employee simulate get em get employee and we can also select that global or user sessions user sessions means just for this request okay or for the global so we can select global that's not a problem but before that let's write this simulations activity and and this will go so if you see this one okay so this data page when we created from that uh, when we simulated from the data page okay the data transform went to that same data page class okay so you, you, see, you see this one qtm the data employees details is same as that this class okay object class of the data page here activity will go to that connector class okay so what we can do we can simply copy this one connector class so there we were simulating through the data page data page means the data layer not the integrations layer so our simulations data transform was going to data layer here we are simulating from the connectors from the integrations layer so the simulations activity will go to integrations layer so again we are selecting employee leave api now so here also we can simulate that in this activity only but we don't want to modify activity each and every time okay so what we can do we can call a data transform from here apply data transform and write another dt here and in that dt we'll simulate it okay so let's first save this one just say comment and just say 
common okay so we created it simulation activity now we'll populate the data so here also we'll write that okay condition so we'll say set so we'll we're not going to set anything but we're going to put a condition so employee id the response dot get to employee id and here this time we'll say let's say 001 so if it is 001 so and we'll just convert to when okay and then response sorry this was it, uh, one second so this should be so, so if you see here okay how we are setting that request parameter is that request dot query underscore get dot employee id so similar way we'll also set so basically no changes to the code okay still the data page will run in the same way so the the moment will run it will take this parameter it will go to this this request data transform and from request data transform we are going to set it to this property okay so what we are going to do okay we are directly setting here basically not setting so that pega will set that like once we pass we are just going to compare so we are going to compare this one in our simulations activity and say that if the value is coming this okay 1101 then set this employee id so we can say response dot get so you can see that we are exactly following that same okay so it will look exactly same like uh, that external service okay so here you can say 001 and this times we can response underscore get that first name okay so instead of doing that one i can just do like this update page and here we can say that employee id and then here we can say 001 and then last name sorry first name first set the first name and then we'll say last name let's set something name steve Steve tan something like that we'll just set that and then again we'll copy this one we'll delete this and paste below and so this time we'll say set for 002 and employee id also will set 0002 0 02 and this time we'll say john and then here we can say john Peter, something like that some name okay. let's save it okay what do you see employee id is not a page okay yeah so this one we have to remove that's fine so basically what we did okay so let's again see that so if i'll run this one okay i'll, I'll show you the tracer also so basically once i'll run this one what will happen it will take the employee id from the parameter it will pass to this one this request then it will set to this here employee id and then basically once we'll set so if you see in our connector rules okay we are passing this employee id okay to the end system okay so what i am thinking that okay i'm the end system so this activity treating as that i'm the end system and receiving this value so we are setting from there and here we are comparing comparing so this activity will become for sometimes this will become as external system and it will compare okay the employee id 001 then return this one if employee id 002 then return this one so now we will go to this one this simulations okay so last time we didn't add it okay so we'll copy our simulations activity uh, simulation activity so this was the name of our simulation activity will come here and just what we need to do we need to add it once we can add uh, multiple simulations and we can select let's say user sessions for now i'm selecting so now you can see that i didn't like i didn't did any check in or check out to this rule so that means that that's more like a data instances we have to just add it on the simulations okay so unlike data pages so in data pages we have to do check in check out okay to add that simulation data transform but here we don't have to do that now let's run this one okay so it will let's run and then also i'll trace and show you so i'll pass zero zero one let's trace it so it will walk exactly like uh, 
the external system so it will try to connect and give us the data you can see that employee id we got one so it removed that uh, the initial zero and then the first name and last name is steve and tang we got so if we come here this is what we set okay in our data transfer okay for 001 steve and tang and if you see in the tracer what happened okay that it call exactly the similar same way okay so if i show you this data page so you can see that what we did okay we set request dot query underscore get dot employee d 001 and then in response we got this one so exactly the same how external system will respond to us and in that what happens we have enabled that simulation so in connector okay when we are calling the connector so instead of calling to external system it's calling to this one okay this our activity so this is how we can simulate the data okay and we can enable disable anytime so now if you want to let's say remove this one let's see sometimes uh, it uh, so now let's say that our uh, end system is up and running okay so end system is up and running so we can simply remove this simulations activity and save it so if i run now uh, uh, idly it should uh, throw error let's see but some mm, sometimes log off and login is also required so i'll let just pass and see if i'm getting error or not so see i'm getting a blank res response means i'm not getting any value okay so ideally i should have got error because end system is down okay so this is how the simulations work so we we saw both type of simulations so one we saw from the data tr transform and sorry data page only we can do and the seconds we can do from the connectors okay so this is it for today's okay session so let me know if you have if you have any questions on this one okay and and try it okay because this is very useful okay in in most of the applications you will face this kind of issue as i explained and that why we need okay so that scenario will will happen in almost each and every applications so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye